When John Madden took over the Raiders in 1969, he was the NFL's youngest head coach. When I was named head coach of the Oakland Raiders, I was, I was just 32 years old. People, you know, I never thought, boy, I'm, I'm really young. We cannot stay where we are. We have a fine veteran football club, but our job is going to be to take the people that we've drafted, to develop them, and someday they're ready to play and be a very good Oakland Raider. You know, I mean, I used to love to, like before practice, just go hang out in the locker room. I would just sit on a stool and, and, and talk to the guys about whatever guys talk about. Unlike his older contemporaries, Tom Landry, Don Shula, and Chuck Knoll, Madden was not an iron-fisted disciplinarian and was rarely in control of his own emotions. Madden, in his delirium, goes about 20 yards out onto the field. His outbursts were usually calculated for effect. We'd be in a meeting room watching game film from the last week's game, and... Somebody would screw up in the film and John would just, you know, turn the projector off and kick a chair and knock the chair over like he was really mad or really hot at somebody and walk out of the room and he would walk by me and wink at me. That was John's way of uh, getting the most out of us. Few players benefited from Madden's coaching more than linebacker Phil Villapiano. John Madden, John Madden, the more you're around the guy, he, was, he, he just kept coming out and coming out. I mean, he'd come over and talk to me and tell me some stuff that I needed to do. Phil, watch this guy. This is what this guy's going to try and do to you. And I'll be darned if I didn't need to do it every time. I come out of the Bowling Green. I mean, I'm way over my head. I had no clue. John Madden weekly would help me mentally and tell me what I was in for and, 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 and calm me down and, and tell me that Phil, if you miss a coverage, it's not all so bad as long as you can make 20 tackles. Phil was a guy that loved to hit. I mean, he really did, and there's not a lot of them. It's not a, a normal thing. I mean, when you go full speed into another guy, you know, that's not, I mean, that collision's not normal. You know, you can't say that, you know, I want to do that. I mean, I want to run into a wall. I want to run into a guy. I want a collision. In the 70s, Villapiano went to four straight Pro Bowls. It didn't hurt that Madden pushed all the right buttons. I liked John for being like my psychiatrist. John calls me into his office, special coaches meeting with John Madden. I'm like, oh, geez, what did I do wrong? And he said, Phil, we've been noticing you've been getting a lot of letters from a girl back in New Jersey. You don't need her. You don't need her. You need, you need to concentrate more on your football. She was gone the next day. I, John knew I needed to dump her. She was dumped. I was so worried about missing a coverage. I couldn't eat. My, my stomach was like a knot. He said, you ever try and eat lobster? He says, you put a lot of butter on it. It slides right down. I spent more money on lobster so I could keep some weight on me. When it counted most, Villapiano had a knack for tipping the scales in the Raiders' direction. Always found a way to be around the ball, whether it's knocking the ball loose, whether it's getting a hand on a pass, tipping a ball, recovering a fumble, making a play. And he made an awful lot of them. Bill is certainly a, a Raider that uh, you can judge other Raiders by.